Today we're going to go over the assembly instructions for the extension Stand Up Pedestal Arcade Machine. It is recommended to watch this video completely before beginning your assembly process. Let's begin. Included hardware. 34 60mm black bolts. 34 silver cross dowels. 1 allen wrench and 24 panhead screws. Now let's look at the included parts. Part 1. Part 2. This will require four silver cross dowels. Part 3 also requires four silver cross dowels. Part 4 also requires four silver cross dowels. Part 5. Part 6 also requires two silver cross dowels. Part 7 requires two silver cross dowels. Part 8. Part 9 requires two silver cross dowels. Part 10. Part 11. Part 12 also requires two silver cross dowels. Part 13 requires two silver cross dowels. Part 14. Part 15 requires two silver cross dowels. Part 16 requires two silver cross dowels. Part 17. The back panel. And the diamond plate. Additional tools required. A power drill with a Phillips head bit. Your first step is inserting the silver cross dowels into the cylinder pre-cut holes on these particular parts. Locate part number 2, number 3, number 4, number 6, number 7, number 9, number 12, number 13, and number 15. In addition, parts number 1, number 5, number 11, and number 17 also require two cross dowels in the large uprights. Insert each cross dowel into each pre-cut cross dowel hole on the top of the board as shown. It is very important to make sure that the silver cross dowel slit is facing towards the pre-cut hole on the three-quarter inch side. Make sure the slit is facing upwards or you will not be able to successfully connect your adjoining 60 millimeter bolt. Again, make sure your cross dowels are properly inserted into these parts before moving on to the next step. The assembly process. Lay part number one flat on the ground with the engravings facing up. Now locate part number two and note in red where you will be inserting. Securely peg part number two into place as shown. Make sure the engravings are facing inward. Now locate part number three and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number three into place firmly as shown. Pay close attention to the engravings in which way the arrows are pointing. Now locate part number four and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part number four in place securely, making sure the engravings are on the inside. Now locate part number five and carefully place it on the top with the engravings facing inward. You will want to then line up all of your green pegs with the corresponding holes and apply pressure until the case is enclosed. Then you would want to locate six 60 millimeter bolts and insert into the holes and proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. Now locate part number six and note in red where you will be inserting. Then make sure you insert firmly into place with the engravings facing inward. It is important to make sure all your cross dowels are inserted properly. Locate your part number seven and note in red where it will be inserted. Proceed to peg in securely and make sure the engravings are facing towards the inside of the cabinet. Now locate part number 8 and locate in red where you will be inserting. Peg part 8 into place with the engravings facing inward as shown. Locate part number 9 and note in red where you will be inserting. Proceed to peg part 9 into place and make sure the engravings are facing towards the inside of the cabinet. Now you want to take three 60 millimeter bolts and from the inside of the cabinet you will want to insert into part six, part seven, and part nine to the corresponding cross dowels. Please locate the hole from the inside that corresponds with the parts cross dowel and proceed to tighten with your included allen wrench. Now locate part number 10 and then rotate your cabinet over to this position inserting part number 10 on top. Make sure the groove is located towards the back of the cabinet where the slant is as shown. Now proceed to insert four 60 millimeter bolts and tighten with your included Allen wrench. Now locate part number 11 and rotate your assembled structure to this position. Carefully lay part number 11 on top with the engravings facing downward and proceed to line up all the green pegs with their corresponding holes. Then using downward pressure with a fist pounding motion, firmly secure part number 11 into place and rotate the cabinet as shown. Using three 60 millimeter bolts, insert into the holes shown and proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. 
Locate part number 12 and rotate your assembled structure as shown. Proceed to peg part number 12 into place with the engravings facing downward. Locate part number 13 and proceed to peg into place as shown with the engravings facing inward. Locate part 14 and with the engravings facing inward, proceed to peg into place as shown. Locate part 15 and with the engravings also facing inward, proceed to peg into place as shown. Using three 60 millimeter bolts and similar to the process you performed on the opposite side, you will want to insert the three 60 millimeter bolts into the holes that correspond with part number 12, number 13, and number 15. Then proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. Now locate part number 16 and peg into place as shown making sure the engravings are on the inside and the engraved arrow is facing downwards. Now locate part number 17 and proceed to line up with the top of the cabinet with the engravings facing down to form an enclosed structure. Once all pegs are lined up with the corresponding holes, provide downward pressure to secure the panel into place. Using three 60 millimeter bolts, insert into the holes shown and proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. Now rotate your cabinet to an upright position and using two 60 millimeter bolts, insert into both left and right side uprights, securing part 16 into place by tightening with the included Allen wrench. Locate the two sheets of included diamond plate and carefully peel back the protective coating. Then line up your diamond plate to the bottom panel and with your Phillips head power drill, proceed to use the pan head screws to secure the diamond plate into the bottom panel only at this time. Once the bottom panel is secure, then you will want to carefully bend the other portion of the diamond plate into place by folding a crease at the angle and then screwing into place using the provided screws. You will want to perform the same procedure with the top section by folding it into place and securing it with the provided screws. You will then want to repeat this step for the opposite side. Locate the back panel and then slide into place with the provided grooves as shown. Installing the controller. Feed your cables through first, then drop in your controller using the four green pegs to line up the controller and firmly peg into place. Using four 60 millimeter bolts, insert into the four holes on top of the controller and proceed to tighten with your included Allen wrench. Additional details on the functionality of the controller you selected will be included in separate instructions. You can now proceed to insert your optional metal door. Congratulations, you have now successfully assembled your stand-up pedestal cabinet.